We are not going back. There is no witch. Get down! What is that? Rats. Rats did this. You went outside. This is my house! This is my house! This is my house! Guys! Okay, firstly, um, I think I'm looking at the list right now. 16 nominations. One behind St. Maud. Remy, you're looking too chill for my liking. Um, inside, is there somebody screaming? I mean, how are you feeling? This is awesome. Yeah, Remy is the Sorry. most chill guy ever. No one's screaming inside of him. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm like a swan. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. After that film, actually, yeah, you've got to have a bit of a weird mind to get through it. But um, seriously, though, congratulations. I'm going to start with you as the director. To have this many nominations, it must feel awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's crazy. I'm just going through, through it now. It's pretty bananas. <laughs> <laughs> The show paid for you. Your mate from Gangs of London, I think Joe won back in 2018 in the category that you're in. Don't know if you attended, but from my memory, he was suited and booted with a polar neck and he thanked his makeup artist. So, <laughs> if you do win Best Actor, how are you going to compete with your mate? Uh, well, he's not the only one. Josh O'Connor, a friend of mine, he's won it twice. So I'm definitely, just to be nominated at all, I'm in an excellent, excellent company. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to get ahead of myself and talk about winning it because I'm just not that person, you know. Uh, Remy literally just said before you came on that it's about the taking part that counts. And I'm really proud of the film and, uh, and what we've achieved so far. But if I do win, I'll make sure to give you a little show. Please, and make sure the polar neck thing, you can't have Joe outdressing you. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> Remy, um, Wumi is, um, she's not here, but congratulations to her as well. Best female. I mean, for everybody to get acknowledged like this is very rare. So collectively, it must be even more like kind of just dope to think you've all kind of been acknowledged for what you brought to the film. Yeah, I mean, we all worked so hard and everyone um, on the team, like it sounds like, such, like a, probably like a cliche, but like we worked so well together and we all enjoyed working together and when we finished shoot, finish shooting it was really sad to end it and so it's really exciting that um that like someone like it's been noted that all the hard work and all of us putting uh boots together and and making this film I mean, just talking to Amir, Sarah Gavron, um, just everyone in general, everybody's been like, it's so diverse. But I think Biffers has always been quite diverse. It's always represented a little bit different to others. Um, Shepe, for you to be amongst so many different diverse women and men, is it just like optimism? Is it like, this is great. This is what our industry is supposed to look like? Yeah, this is what our industry is supposed to look like because the industry at definitely a grassroots level is diverse. Um, I would love to echo something that Remy mentioned earlier, but I would hate for us to look at this moment and be like, great, we've achieved diversity, let's move on, let's not care about it anymore. I, it would be remiss to see today's nominations as a signifier of actual change. Um, it's nice to think, it's nice that we are stepping in the right direction, but it can't be like, it looked like this this year and the next year look completely different. And whilst the Biffers are definitely leading the way in terms of their representation, um, it would be excellent if uh, other awards bodies took note and did recognise excellence for its excellence rather than because of what it looked like. Mm. I think also, though, you made a horror, the genre, scary thriller, and the narrative and what you created was like so strong people gravitated towards it and it wasn't just for a black audience you know because sometimes it becomes that thing doesn't it oh if it's a whole black cast or a minority cast it's for that community and I think Remy for you as a director also having the Netflix moment it really yeah. proved that no guys this is for everyone yeah totally I mean I, I it's why I make films or why I want to make films is to be able to but tell stories that come from, you know, um, a particular point of view, but open it, open it up so it can feel um, universal and it doesn't feel, people don't feel excluded by watching it and getting something from it. So, yeah. This is our home. 
All I can taste is the metal. We'll get used to it. I should just mention that it wasn't an all black cast. We had people like Vivienne and Dominic and Matt Smith in it as well. It was a cast that looked like Britain, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, we did have two black leads, which is excellent. And it's a big testament to New Regency and Remy and um, BBC. BBC in terms of backing a project that had two black leads. There are not that many of them around at this scale. Um, and hopefully that's something that we'll see more of. You know? And for you as well, you're having a moment. I feel like you've worked incredibly <laughs> hard, but you are having a moment right now. And you're doing these diverse roles, which is, Remy sounds like, you, I'm sure you're really proud of him, but how does it feel like, do you feel like, wow, I feel like finally everything is sort of, all my hard work is paying off? When I started as an actor, I was always very cognizant that it was a marathon, not a sprint. I never expected like recognition at all but definitely not straight away and even the success of this year in terms of my career has been a really lovely surprise it's not something that i've necessarily geared my efforts towards but it is definitely lovely to be recognized it's definitely uh, incredible to be doing lots of different projects that are successful and also that are operating in different genres you know um gangs of london is definitely action and a bit gory sometimes and his house is a horror and then i've got two period stuff two period films coming up so it's nice to know that i'm not boxed into one thing and that i can act you know and do lots of different things it's uh it's definitely very reassuring i'm very excited for chauffeur and Willie to be recognized i think they're both so talented and amazing and incredibly hardworking actors that I'm always very, very excited when I see their name pop up on my timeline or something. So I'm happy. Well, listen, congratulations. Enjoy Zoom life, get hydrated, and I'm keeping fingers crossed for you. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Let them send us back. How quickly you forget everything we went through to get here.